Hey everybody, it's Jessie and I just am bringing to you this month's video. I know I'm a little late coming out because I'm switching my vibration and doing the videos. I'm doing them um, at the full moon, not at the full moon time anymore, but at the new moon time. And that's really exciting for me. It's stepping into some new rhythms and things here. But this month what I wanted to do is talk about a really simple basic tool that I'm sure some of you have heard about before, but maybe you're not familiar familiar with some of the aspects of it from my code perspective and it's amazing here I want to mention that because here it is February and I'm standing outside in like no jacket or anything and that's that's unheard of here in Sioux Falls and this is by the way the last video that I'm doing from the Sioux Falls area um, unless I happen to do one passing through at some point but I am relocating so very very excited about that in a few days I'm going to be on the road and in a new space and next month's video will be coming from a whole new region Region and, and area so I'm excited about that but anyways what I wanted to talk about this month is one of the things that's been coming up that's a big theme this year is all about the 11th hour and if you want to catch up more information about the 11th hour you can certainly do that through some of my interviews that I have going on right now but uh, they'll be on the web page so you can check those out but part of this aspect of the 11th hour that happens is when people are pushed to the very, very last minute on things. They don't know if something's going to come through. They don't know if, you know, they're going to be able to do something and what's going to work or what isn't going to work. And that can sometimes create a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety. And what happens when the stress and this anxiety comes up, um, it's usually attached to responsibilities, right? We're oftentimes trying to make changes or shifts or adjustments. Uh, we're waiting on information so that we can take a step forward someplace so that we can make a decision about something so that we can take care of things or handle things in our life and when we get these responsibilities that come through and we get that responsibility energy code pattern going it then connects directly with our oxygen levels and the oxygen levels in the body also tend to run on this responsibility pattern well that actually then that's one time when like two like things make a wrong <laughs> you might say that's when like does not work <laughs> well together and what happens is it actually then will minimize or it will break down the oxygen level in our body so our our lungs don't take in the air capacity that they need and when that happens we start getting more fatigued and we start grabbing and all of those fast foods, right? And the sugar foods and the caffeines and all of those things that we know really aren't that healthy for us, but we do it anyways because it's like, well, I'm tired, I just gotta get through this. Well, that shortness of breath is actually the phenomenon of the code energy and how it's interacting. So when those responsibilities come through and we start to get stressed about them, especially like in a year like this where everything's down to the wire even though it's going to happen and it's going to come through most likely we don't know until the last minute which direction we might be headed with something so when that affects our ox oxygen levels it then drops everything off so it actually starts to shut down the lung capacity we start doing a shallow breathing and then that cascades to a whole other realm of things that make us more susceptible to diseases make us more susceptible to um, nutrient deficiency our body doesn't absorb as well and so you might be thinking is it rest <laughs> nope it's not rest although that's really really important that's a big key factor what it is a simple breath to breathe and you've probably heard this and there's probably been if you're like me a few people you might have wanted to slap along the way and they come up to you and just say just breathe <laughs> and it's like no you breathe <laughs> and so when we look at these pieces actually breath is a very very powerful thing breath actually in the realm of codes is about success and to breathe is actually to connect with divine assistance. So when we breathe, when we take in breath, we're actually taking in divine energy to come to our aid and create a success in our life. So I figured this is gonna be a really, really powerful tool this year for us to 
tune into and to work with. And, and as simple as it is, a lot of times our mind is scattered. And when we breathe, what we do is we bring our blood pressure down, we bring everything into a much more calm and serene space, and we can start to release. And what this does then in the release process and this connection with all of the codes is that it's like our ego or our human self is surrendering its own agendas and its own control patterns to simply let go. So all you have to do is focus on the breath and that's it. Now one of the techniques with breath or to, in breathing that I like to use is just a really simple one where you close off the right nostril and you breathe in through the left nostril. And then when you're ready to breathe out, you close off the left nostril and you breathe out the right. Now what this is doing is this is also establishing a natural circadian rhythm. So with your body when it gets off focus, when your mind is scattered and you know wandering around all over the place, to do some of this breathing for even just a few minutes, even for three minutes, can make a huge, huge difference. And it reestablishes that flow of energy all throughout. It reestablishes your, your connection and harmony with your divine self. So this is a super, super powerful tool. Again, it's a simple breathe in through the left nostril, breathe out through the right, and we automatically make a connection. We automatically make a circle of energy that is all about natural flow. So that is this month's video. That's this month's tip um, coming out here. And hey, next time I see you, it's going to be from a whole new place. And I hope you'll stay tuned for where that is. If you'd like to catch up on some of my interviews that are covering the 11th hour, you can certainly do, th do so through my website. And uh, that is at compassioncodes.com <laughs> boy I almost didn't get that one out for some reason compassioncodes.com just go on there you'll find stuff on the media tab um, videos and things like that so you've got all kinds of things you can check out you'll also find where I'm the guest and uh, that's where the the interviews and things will be where you can find out more about that 11th hour energy so everybody have a really incredible month this is our last month of the seasonal year, and we're getting ready to come up on the um, spring equinox. So that's really, really exciting. Coming up in just a few weeks. Take care, everybody. See you next month, and hope you'll check everything out. CompassionCodes.com. Take care. Bye-bye.